everyone, Jessica here with another layout for a cherry on top. I'm starting this layout with a Photo Play Bros Amazing background paper, which I've done some machine stitching on, and I've got these two photos of my little guys riding an amusement park ride at our local amusement park. So I have already done my machine stitching, as you can see. Um, it took a while, but I just used my brother's sewing machine. I don't have anything special. It's just a Project Runway Edition sewing machine. I got it from Walmart. And um, I am just matting my photos, which I rounded the corners on just with some smooth white cardstock. Nothing special or fancy there. And I'm just rounding the corners again. So I've just matted them once there. And then I'm going to dig through my stash here from this collection. And I've pulled out the scrap of the striped pattern paper from this collection. And I'm just going to mat these photos one more time. And then I'll end up distressing those edges just to rough them up a little bit. I do use an edge distressor, but if you do not have one, you can also use the edge of your scissors to distress the edges and just kind of rough them up. But I'm sticking to like a rounded corner theme for this one. I haven't actually done any corner rounding on my photos for quite some time, so I thought it'd be a good thing to do that on a layout again. So here I'm just distressing those edges with my edge distressor, and I'm just going to continue building this layout. I don't want to... Um, add a ton of large embellishments so I'm not going to add a whole lot from this die cut pack but I am going to pull out a couple of the little wordy bits and like this little tab here for the top of my photo just so that I can um, put something up there I really like that black and white I think that's really pretty so I like that be awesome today I'm going to use that and for this the sticker sheet I'm actually just cutting off the things that I may want to use because I'm not certain if I actually want them in the places that I'm putting them or if I'll use them at all so that's one thing that I like to do I like to cut apart my sticker sheets sometimes when they get down to a few on there or if I'm doing something like this where I'm just not certain where I want to place everything so I cut that off of the sticker sheet so that the adhesive is not revealed on the back yet and then I'm just kind of playing around with the placement of these few things of where I want them to go. There is a glare on that one because that's exactly where my ot light shines, right in the middle there. Um, so please don't mind that. But I'm just kind of arranging different stickers here and just seeing where I want to place everything. I really like the little bro um, chat bubble because my, my other son, my second born child, is actually on the car behind my firstborn here in the photos so it, I just thought it was so funny it's like they're talking to each other using these little chat bubbles so I only thought it was appropriate to place those there so here I'm just going to get my white acrylic paint out this is just some delusions white linen paint and I'm just watering down a little blob of it and flicking it on with my paintbrush to create some splatters on this background and I'm just basically breaking it up a little bit. I really love the black straight pattern, but I just wanted to add a little bit of interest and texture to it. So that's what I did. So I'm just taking my um, my little car here. I did pull off the backing off of this sticker sheet uh, for the car. And I did add a little bit extra using my tape runner just to reinforce it. Because um, sometimes I feel like when they're in my books for a while, they just lose their stick from the sticker sheets. So I figure a little bit of extra adhesive can't hurt, right? Doing the same thing with my epic title here, I just reinforced with that tape runner as well. And then here, I just got my little sticker. <laughs> it's funny because this whole entire layout was actually driven from that Speedster sticker that I just put on there. So I thought, I saw that sticker and I had these photos and I thought, oh man, I'm going to create a layout basically around one sticker. Has anybody else ever done that? I feel like sometimes I see one embellishment or one sticker and it drives the entire thing and it just makes everything come together so much easier. So here at this point, I'm just seeing what else I can add. I really like that little hand there. So I'm going to just tuck it behind my title. I really love this little lightning bowl, just having a play with where I want it to go. And I decide on putting it to the left of my title just for a little something extra over here. And I'm going to pull out some sequins um, from my stash and add those here in a bit. Really, really loving this circular crown. Kind of looks like a little flare and I really like that. So I'm just going to um, pull that out. I'm actually going to do some fussy cutting. I really love this pattern paper that my daughter is flopping around on my desk right now. <laughs> she's a little over a year old and she's just all about my stuff all the time now. She's into everything. So she's constantly grabbing things off my desk. It keeps disappearing. But 
I'm going to do a bunch of fussy cutting off of that page. So I fast forward that so you didn't have to watch me cut them all out. But I cut a whole bunch of those arrows out, some stars, some lightning bolts, and just a whole bunch of little doodads here um, to add to this layout. I really loved how the arrows were kind of pointing towards the cars. So I just lined those up on both sides of my photos and I just cut out a little bunch of a bunch of little doodads. So then I'm pulling out these sequins from my stash and my little sequin tool here, along with my Nuvo glue. I want to create some lines of sequins on my thread. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just plopping down a little dab of glue and then just sticking those sequins down to that. Then I'm pulling out a die set by Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's one of her planner designs. Um, I'm just pulling that out and actually just cutting out one of these little labels to stamp my date on for the bottom of my layout. And then I'm just going to grab uh, a little sticker, I think, to stick on the bottom yet. And then it's really funny because here in a second, I switched days. So sometimes it takes me a couple days to do my layouts. And you guys probably think I'm like all magical and do my layouts so fast. But no, literally sometimes they sit on my desk for a couple days before I actually come back to them. And there is one major, major change in this video from the previous day to this day that I'm working on. So let me know in the comments if you noticed what that one thing was. Because now that I'm looking at this video, it's super obvious to me, but maybe not to some of you if I wouldn't have mentioned it. So I'm really curious to see if you noticed what it is or not. <laughs> But here I'm just cutting in some notches on the sides of my paper. I felt like it needed some more pattern paper to bring out the color in the layout. So I just added a couple notches and I'm going to staple down the tails of those pattern papers in behind just to adhere them down to my layout so they're not popped up. So here's the finished layout. I'll link everything down below in the description in case you want to grab any of the items I used today for your stash. And thank you guys for being here and thanks so much for watching and for all of your support. So thank you again and have a great day. Bye bye.